Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, August 31st. We're almost into the burr month. That means it's Christmas time. <laughs> One more day and uh, we'll see everything ready for Christmas. Actually, I went to SNR and, and they have Christmas everywhere. But anyways, let's go see what's going on with our build today. All right, and we got chipping going on. Not too sure what is going on, what happened here. I think I still going to go ask and find out what's going on. Or we can see if we can get my uh, my handy-dandy English Tagalog uh, speaking going on and find out what's going on with these guys. All right, so they made this corner too thick with the cement so now they have some uh, chipping to do so they went past our property line into the neighbor's property so they went too far if they would have plastered it would have been good so they're right on the line and so they're chipping it down this whole corner to straighten it out maybe one day we'll be able to own this lot we don't yet but maybe one day we'll see Always, always, always. It feels like it's been two weeks of these same pieces being worked on. And we have more pieces of plywood being cut. More shelving and cabinetry work. Let's go see what they got done in the storage area today. Not too much has been done today or they've moved on to something different. They changed their priorities from day to day. So it's, it's hard to know what is uh, what, but uh, you can see he's got actually a bunch of the shelving cut out already for this. So we're actually looking forward to seeing everything in here and this section being completed. So yesterday, tried to do a little bit of overtime and well we had really really bad wind and rain lot yesterday it was almost like typhoon type for about an hour all those bamboos were sitting down on the other end well this thing became a giant wind tunnel it actually had lots and lots of water blow in and uh, the way the wind was blowing all these bamboos were on the ground. It just scattered everything everywhere. So I wanted to show you guys something. You know, the other day I self-filmed this our refrigerator and all of our stuff being moved over here to the house that we had stored at our house for a really, really long time. I actually bought this stuff back in January. I think it was January at the duty-free shop. Brought it home, we didn't expect to only have it, you know, maybe three months or so in our house. Instead of over six months, but mm, uh, the refrigerator was sitting outside because it wouldn't fit in our house. Our little apartment wouldn't even go through the door. You see what the termites did? The termites ate through the cardboard. It is something else. There's a bunch of holes in here. I mean, that's as far as they're gonna get is eat the cardboard. Because everything is uh, stainless steel, the whole refrigerator is. We might have a little bit of an ant's nest up underneath there, but not sure because we actually uh, boarded up around it and uh, did some precautionary stuff to keep things from getting inside the refrigerator. And of course, the other two items were under our stairway in our apartment. So it's actually nice to have it, but it don't feel like they went anywhere because we have so much stuff for the house still in our little apartment. Ah, so we have the guys out there uh, working on closing up the span wells all the way around the house. Cut vents, my understanding. I don't know, I got the head shake from the foreman, so hopefully. Maybe a misunderstanding, but we'll see. Foreman is busy with our cabinets. It actually looks like most of these are cut out already and ready to go. Not sure that one piece has a big old cut in it. We'll see what that's used for. That's our cabinet. You see on the end, right there, there's a little spot for a little shelving for 
our soap, all of our little odds and ends, and the, that fun stuff, and the wash pops, I guess. Ah, uh, now this cabinet is coming together. I guess I am being told there is going to be a little desk right here. At some point, they'll build it in. Maybe after. Oh my goodness. So, these guys are putting some poison sealant on the wood. I don't know what you really want to call it. It's just to keep the termite stuff out. They're uh, sealing the wood up. Man, it is really, really strong. Holy smoke. But, uh,. We're putting the ceiling on it so the termites won't eat the plywood. And let's take a look and see if I can find exactly what they're putting on this. So, and he is uh, finishing up this and uh, putting like Bondo type stuff. What is this called? Wood filler? Woolly pelt. Okay, and it, let's take a look at this. It is polyester body filler by Polite Tough. And that's a two part. Uh, so you got hardener paste and the body filler itself. So it's like Bondo what they're using almost. I would suspect it's for wood and not for cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, and this is what they're using. Wood saver, clear ready to use wood preservative. Uh, this stuff is really strong stuff. It's really thin. I would suspect everything that is wood here it will be plastered in this to keep the termites from eating it. Alright, so these guys are filling in the corner that I was just showing you guys a second ago. What they were working on. So, here is the, the end product. They just have one. So, I guess I'm being told there's still a little bit more to go. They're going to put something in the seam to connect everything together. Alright, everybody. It is a wonderful Monday afternoon. It's a nice little breeze. And these guys are working again on this front. So they leveled it out all the way to the corner. All the way down here. I don't know if you can see the line going all the way across. But that is a level line. So you can see how much higher this end is compared to the end way down there. There's quite a bit of difference between the ground clearance. But it's okay. Once... Uh, this is all done. We're gonna fill it in with dirt and level everything out. And Caesar right here in front of us is working on Icel's planter. And of course, the welder. And here's the pest control going on. Man, oh man, I feel bad for him smelling that stuff all day long. It is potent stuff. I'm already ready to get away from it all. Alrighty, and we've all accomplished this. I did one coating on it, and Joyce, I saw his little sister, and her boyfriend, Ren, put another coating on these. So I think they have at least three coats. They, some of them might have more than that. When uh, the wind blew them over yesterday, it mixed everything up, so everything has at least one coat on these. And if you can see all the little metal that are here, all the tubular, it's all painted black. So another little bit, I think Ren actually did this. So and I primered it yesterday once. I think Ren primered it today and then came back and painted it black. The fun still continues with the body filler. Looks like they got a lot to do. And then they'll be sanding it all down. Everything, it really looks like Bondo. This is what it is. Body filler. Yeah, it looks like Bondo for cars? Same thing? Yeah. No. Really? I guess it is. They use it for cars and, well, they use it for filling in the wood too. Interesting to me to know. Hi there. And the foreman looks like he's almost done. He has like a couple shelves left in here. And this section of our linen closet will be done. And we have our closet. Our upstairs closet. It is looking like it is almost done. Finally. Alright, so that is the corner done. Other than they're going to put like a little capper down that little uh, edge. But anyways, where the wires are sticking out, they're going to put something in there. 
to make it more sealed up and nice looking. All right, everybody, today is a wonderful September 1st. We are officially in the Burr month, which means Christmas everywhere here in the Philippines. Yes, I was talking about it yesterday. Well, it's official now. Everything is Christmassy. <laughs> well, not yet. I think half the people leave their lights on around here uh, on their houses because, you know, why not? I mean, they're they're up for five months anyways uh, and on. But anyways, let's go see what's going on. Like we have a little bit of a half mixture going on. I would suspect that is going down over here in this wonderful wall. Oh yeah, look, they got rebar in there and they got some sandy gravel, the leftovers of the sifted stuff. Our storage area is finally getting everything nailed in and all the pieces that were cut out are getting put in, which is great. Tight fit. Oh, there, that's the one. That works. Oh, tight little shelving. The foreman. Continuation. Oh, there goes more work. It's like every day someone different working on something different for wood. I'll change out guys quickly around here. I get moved to other places in the bondoing. Or filler. However you want to call it to me, it's bondo. Yeah. I guess they got to share tools. That's what's going on. We're sharing tools. I go from place to place to use each tool. <laughs> All right, looks like some bondoing is going on in here. Tell me he still needs to make the drawer for this. This is a big drawer. Is it only going to be half or full all the way across for the drawer? That's big drawer. <laughs> I'm saying this one, Foreman, that's big. That's huge. That's a big drawer. All right, and look what we got going on. So they bondoed yesterday, and now today they are sanding everything down, making it all pretty. I mean, I, it's interesting. Uh, they do a lot of sanding, but I don't ever see any like sticky cloth when after you sand something to take all the sanding and, and the grit stuff off of it to clean them up. So when you paint it or stain it, you don't have little grains of sanding it and everything. Oh, it's just the way they do it, I guess, here. I'm curious about other places. At least they're not tearing up the floor with the ladder, but uh, I mean, we do have a paint can right there in the middle. <laughs> all right, and these guys down below, if you can see, they're laying all the rebar and setting everything, but uh, we're actually thinking, Isel and I were talking about it. They're trying to level it off with the other side. And it might be too high, we're thinking. Our little flower garden is going to be like three hollow blocks off the level ground. Well, it's not really level, but three hollow blocks is quite a bit. Because the other ones, we actually shaved down to make them less over on the other side. Because we thought it was too high, and that was just too so, we'll see how this goes. I'm waiting on Icel to come over here. All the wonderful baby stuff slows her down in the morning. She likes to sleep in, got to have lots and lots of food. I think yesterday she ate like seven times. <laughs> Feeding that little baby. All right, so we had a little bit of changes. Our hollow blocks were gonna be way, way too high over on this side compared to how it was gonna be over here, over on that side. So we just had a little change, so we're doing one hollow block up on this corner and then I mean, one and a half hollow blocks over on this corner. Because when they measured out almost two hollow blocks over on this side and then three over on this one, it would have been massive height. It's so much fun working with the unlevel ground, but it's all right. 
We'll have it all looking straight. By the end of the build, it'll be all straight, all level, at least inside. The outside won't be. <laughs> the neighbor's has a massive wall. Or we will if we can eventually buy this property next to it. But it, it's a big wall. It's going to be interesting. Alrighty, it is looking like I sell a little flower bed. It's uh, built up now. Oh, she needs some dirt in there and some plants. It's an interesting uh, view if you look at it. This is slanted just exactly the same as that, the exact same amount of plant that she has going on. Alright, and the welder is making two more little fencing pieces. And that will actually go up in those sections right there. So we are just short our little gate that is right here and that's it for all the welding work. Everybody busy down here working on everything, everything uh, different dimensions and everything. Everybody has uh, different wood projects that's working on. I think we got maybe four or five guys working on just wood projects. So this one side shelf is actually complete. Yay! I thought it was going to be a little bit deeper for the bottom, but it's going to be what it is. And I still trying to figure out some uh, strengthening on these shelves. I think we'll have to do probably two pieces to strengthen up these shelves. Some more chemicals going on. The linen cabinet. It's like they got the little drawers down here on the bottom. Alright, this is what the drawers are looking like. They're not completely installed yet. They're getting to, so they're getting four drawers. That's well, actually a pretty decent dresser. I thought it was just going to be two, but they get four drawers. Nice. And they finally got this mounted. Oh yeah, they had that yesterday, I guess. That's like a hotel style. Uh, Alright, so... Ah, uh, they've done all the bondoing, they've sanded again, and now they're going back through and uh, putting the glazing putty white over these cabinets. And they've uh, taped up the gliders in here so they won't get trashed out while they're working on this side of the cabinets. They're, he's actually gone pretty far on these. So it's interesting they put this glazing stuff on it. And they put skim coat on the walls and the wood they put glazing coat after they put bondo and fix everything i would suspect they'll be sanding this down after they get done putting this glazing coat over it how many coats is this you're gonna make two three three, three coats yeah. ah okay so i guess they're doing three coats so it will be exactly white 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 like everything else all right everybody that is it for this wonderful video if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified the next time we put out a video so thank you for watching and goodbye